Okay, so people people might object, and they and they have, that, well, gold is just another arbitrary standard of value. It has some intrinsic worth. It's useful for jewelry. It's useful for certain industrial applications, but it's just another psychologically valuable currency without any intrinsic value, and so it shouldn't be a repository of value in principle that's any more stable than let's say, a well-managed or even a badly managed fiat currency. And so what do you, what do you, why is it that gold has proved itself, let's say, over centuries or millennia as a storehouse of value? What is it about gold intrinsically, let's say, that seems to have given it that edge? The idea that gold doesn't have any intrinsic value is just pure nonsense. It's obviously politicians have a vested interest in, in trying to diminish gold as a monetary alternative to the fiat system. And even now you have a lot of cryptocurrency enthusiasts who say the same thing. Well, you know, gold has no value because they want to justify something like Bitcoin, which also has no value, and say, well, gold worked as money and it has no value, so, so Bitcoin could work. Well, it's not true that gold has no value. Gold is the most valuable, the most useful metal on the periodic table. Gold became money because it was such a valuable commodity. But gold has a lot of properties that make it uniquely qualified to be money more so than, than other commodities. That's why gold was so successful over the centuries as money, because people preferred to use it as money. It wasn't governments that decided gold is gonna be money. The people decided that gold was going to be money. And once the people decided that gold was going to be money, if you were a king, you know, well, you would tax people in gold because if you wanted to pay your soldiers to protect you, your soldiers wanted gold, right? So it was the money created in the free market and it beat out all other forms of money because gold, you know, a gold coin, uh, all, they're all, all the same. You can melt gold down and you can make it into coins. Uh, it's fungible, it's portable, it's divisible. But the other aspect of gold, that is the key. You can save gold because if I have an ounce of gold in 100 years, in 1,000 years, it's exactly the same. It doesn't lose any of its properties. And in fact, even if I take my gold and I make, you know, I make a ring out of it or I, I, I use it to make a watch, right? You can melt this ring down and you get your gold back and it's exactly the way it was. You could do something else with it. There's really no other metal. You can keep using it over and over and over again. I mean, they fill teeth with gold. If you find somebody buried in the ground, you know, you could take their fillings and, you know, the gold's still there. You know, their uh, treasure ships from the 1400s, 1500s, they sink. If they recover the wreckage, the only thing that's still there is the gold. It's an ex and it looks exactly the way it looked when the sink, when the ship sank 500 years ago. So from a point of savings, because money has to satisfy three primary conditions. Two of them are a unit of account and a medium of exchange. But the third one is a store of value. And that's important because it's also makes it possible to do loans, that I can borrow money, you can lend money, and you can be repaid. And you know that the money that you're going to get repaid is going to retain its value. And so that's something that gold that, that gold does better than, than other metals. But the, the value of gold, even if I'm not using my gold today as a metal, let's say I have gold stored in a safe and you say, well, you know, you're not using it for anything. That's true. But I'm preserving the future use of that gold. Somebody in the future is going to need that gold. And so I'm storing it right now. Because, you know, there are more uses for gold that are discovered all the time because of its very unique properties. I'm sure in 100 years or 1,000 years, there will be more uses for gold than there are now.